Apocalypse. Good day, friends. Let's have a blast making ourselves a little pirate ship. Uh, I'd like you to type my.sketchup so you can get to the SketchUp app. If you've made a link to it already, that is wonderful. When it loads... I always need to get it into millimeter mode because I'm printing 3D models. Uh, click on the dude and delete them. And then if you draw an item real quick, uh, make it small. And if you zoom in on it by rolling the scroll wheel and do the dimensions, it'll most likely be in feet and inches. And I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is click on the little Trimble choice. Uh, you may have to, it may tell you that you need to sign in uh, and that your pop-ups are blocking things. Uh, mine is fine that way. At that point, I can go to Model Info and I can simply switch to Millimeters. Once I have done that, I can go back, notice it inverts. I'm going to delete all this because it's way larger than I want. And I'm going to start my ship over here in the center area. I'm going to grab a rectangle and I'm going to simply click to start it, but then I let go of the mouse button. Uh, and then I can type the numbers I want for my ship. And I'm going to make my ship 20, 60 for the base of the ship. Then I'm going to use the awesome zoom to extents button to get right to the ship. Uh, I am orbiting with the orbit, and then I can click the center mouse button and roll. When I click and drag left or right, it does that. When I roll the wheel in, it goes out. I want the front of my ship to be a triangle shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the corner, find the midpoint by just moving towards it. And then I'm going to stretch out, and it does a green line to show that I'm perpendicular to the green axis. And when I've got the distance that I think looks like I want my ship to look, I can simply connect it. I am going to delete the little line that uh, is right there on the red axis. And I'm simply going to click on that to make it go away. And then I want the back of my ship to be rounded. So I'm going to go to the arc tool. And I want the two-point arc. I'm going to click on the first point, second point, and I'm going to bring it out. I don't want that blue line. Blue means it would be pointing down on the blue axis. I want the green axis. And uh, I'm going to type the number 4.5 just because that sounds fun to me. There is the back of my ship, and I get to delete that little piece so it is a solid uh, shape. At this point, I'm going to use the awesome push-pull tool, and I'm going to push-pull so that my item is 2 millimeters high. Uh, so that I can keep track of these measurements, I'm going to switch to the dimension tool. And I'm going to click on the first corner, second corner, and I'm going to mark that 2 millimeter mark. That is going to be the basis of my ship. I want to select it all, right click it, make it a group. I want to do control C and control V to create a copy of it. And then I'm going to scale it so that it's larger and I'm going to cut the parts out of it and I'm going to do those right up on top of the real shape so the first thing I'm going to do is hit M for move I'm going to grab the tip I'm going to orbit so that I can line that tip up with the top piece I'm going to press S for scale and then I'm going to use the very cool control scale so it goes around the center and I'm going to go 1.1 times as large in the red axis and then I'm gonna go to the uh, green axis and I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna do 1.05 in this direction and I've just done this a couple times and I found that those numbers work pretty good for the next step so that's why I choose 1.1 1 .1, uh, on the red axis and 1.05 on the green axis the next magical tool is to edit that group and use the amazing offset tool. When you click on this face, type uh, click and make it wiggly and type 2 millimeters and it creates a 2 millimeter offset that you can then press P to push pull and start it pushing down and then just touch the outside edge and it cuts away uh, all of the inside of your boat but it leaves that two millimeter edge that connects to the rest of the boat. Click out in the air, uh, right click out in the air and close the group 
and you have now got the pieces for your ship. Click on that group, do Control C, Control V again, uh, set it down, press M for move, uh, put it up on top. You'll notice that it's the exact same size so that we can do that scale trick again. Remember it's control scale and we always grab the middle ones. So there is my 1.05 and on this side I'm going to hold control and do 1.1 uh, 1 in this direction. When I check it out it is epically cool and you can continue this to the height that you want. I chose to add two more levels. Uh, now I'm going to place the top on my ship. Uh, control C, Control V. To make the top, I don't want all those holes. So I'm going to once again right click and edit that group. I'm going to use the select tool and I'm going to grab from the uh, right to the left. That way it grabs everything it touches and when I hit delete, I've just got the frame and then I am going to fill that frame in and I'm going to fill it in by erasing these edges and uh, it's that easy you can just erase those again and you've got the full piece and then I'm going to push pull that and I want to make it uh, one millimeter thick so that'll be the top of my ship right clip close M for move and I'm going to orbit so I can see where I'm putting it and BAM I have got the top of my ship alright let's add some cool stuff to our ship uh, I'm going to start by putting a building on my ship or a uh, cabin on my ship I'm going to put it towards the back I'm going to just guesstimate the size uh, this is a square that um it showed that it was a perfect square to turn that into walls you want to do the walls before you try and add a roof I accidentally double clicked and I always want to leave it wiggly and then I'm going to type the size I'm going to do 1.5 millimeter walls I'm going to delete the middle so I'm switching to the pick tool and I'm deleting it and then I'm going to push pull to lift that building up and I'm going to lift it up 10 millimeters high and then I'm going to put a um, sloped roof on it using the pencil tool. Uh, I'm going to start the pencil tool right here and go to the midpoint. And then when I raise it straight up, it'll show a blue line to show that I'm on the blue axis when I actually have it going the way that I want. So there it inferred it. And I'm going to go with that right there so that was from the midpoint inferred straight up so then when I connect it I have got my sloped shape I'm gonna use push pull to push pull my whirl uh, roof all the way across so now the back of my ship is created I'm gonna create a door super quick by simply clicking and dragging a door there's a golden section which is beautiful uh, I'm gonna do push pull to push that in and then I want to push it in to um, the 1.5 millimeter mark so I'm actually sneaking to the back wall when I chose that I'm gonna add a window real quick I want to start from uh, about the same height so I'm gonna go right to that point and come across um, and then I'm gonna draw my rectangle shape want to make sure I don't bump into the wall this time it's easier to push pull so because I can see it and I'm gonna take that red tip and I'm gonna just touch one of the corners so it cuts out the inside of my wall for my ship at this point I can add windows all the way across but I'm gonna let you do that on your own I'm gonna make mine a sailboat so I'm gonna switch to the circle tool and I'm gonna put my sail right at midships once again I'm marking that center so that I'm sure that it's in the middle and I'm going to make the mast uh, 4 in diameter, now 3, which would be 6 at the bottom. And then one cool thing about uh, SketchUp is when I pull this piece up, I can get it as high as I want. 
and then I'm going to go all the way back to a tool we used at the first uh, part. I'm going to use scale. And when I do scale, I'm going to do that about center. So I'm going to hold control. And I'm going to scale it in so that my mast is tapered, just like it would be on a real uh, ship. Let's make some sails real quick with the two-point arc. I'll just move out in space, click, and make the uh, smallest arc you can, essentially. Go back to the pencil tool and connect those. And then push-pull that critter up. Make it as high as you want your sail to be. And then let's go back to a trick we used way back in the beginning. Uh, select that top part. Do scale. And when you shrink that, you can slope it in so that it gives it more of a texture. And then the one thing with these sails, uh, you've got to have it so that it slopes a little bit uh, upward. So that when it, if you were trying to 3D print it, it could build from the center post out. So I'm going to use two of these, and I'm going to group it uh, just like I would the other parts. So there's my group, Control c Control v and uh, I'm going to just set them up here in space for a second, and then I'm going to get them lined up with my center post. And then, like I said, you need to tip it so that it's um, going to print upwards. So you see how that's going to slope up as it goes in. So it's totally attached. Alright, so with that one placed, I'm going to bring the other one up. And uh, this is kind of nifty. I can click on the pole, and I can right-click and do hide. And that way I can grab this piece uh, by doing M for move. And I'm going to just connect it right to that spot. Once you've got that lined up, let's bring our items back by doing display all. And now you've got a nice sailing pirate ship. Uh, just for giggles, let's add a cannon real quick. I would do a cannon uh, with a wheel. I want that wheel to be facing this way. I'm going to choose to make it uh, 2 millimeters of a radius, which is a 4 millimeter wheel. P for push-pull, and I'm going to pull it uh, 2 millimeters thick. I need two of those so that the cannon can be movable. Grab them, right click, make group, control C, control V. Get those a nice distance apart. Uh, first I'm going to move them so they're touching each other. Then I'm just going to nudge it away, and I'm going to keep it on the red axis, and I'm going to go two millimeters away. <clears throat> and then my simple cannon is just going to be a uh, cylinder, and I'm going to make it uh, 2.5 millimeters in radius. I'm going to push-pull it uh, so that it's uh, five millimeters long. Um, I'm going to make it two millimeters more, so it's going to be seven. And then uh, what really makes it cool is you can take that scale trick again, grab that top ring, do scale, and if we just scale it around, so I'm holding control, you can make it look like the uh, end of a cannon where the sh uh, cannonball would come out of, and then you can go back and use that offset tool so that there's a hole. So I'm going to do uh, 0.75, and I'm going to push pull that down in, making sure that I'm on the center edge, not the outside edge. There's my push-pull. Remember, it was 7 millimeters deep, so I'm going to go 6 millimeters deep. And there, I've now got a cannon with a hole all the way in. I'm going to make that a group as well. Right-click, Make Group. When I go to Move Mode with the letter M, it lets me rotate it so it's at cannon aiming mode. Uh, if you move out, you get finer angles. And now I'm going to put all these pieces together. I'm going to go to the edge, and that lets me infer the center. And then I want the center to be in the middle-ish of my wheels. So it wants to go on the red axis. So on that red axis, I'm going to type in 0.5, and that looks just the way I want it. 
I could do all kinds of cool things to uh, group them and add little hubs and put little cannonballs beside it. But those are the kind of things I want you to mess with on your own. Show me how cool these can turn out. Right now I'm going to select that whole cannon. Right click, make group. I'm going to go to the materials bucket. And I'm going to make my cannon uh, black. So I'm going to go to colors. That's a sweet looking little cannon. I'm going to do M for move. And I'm going to put my cannon up on the deck. From the top, I'm going to rotate it so it's aimed outward. <laughs> I'll move it in front of the sails because uh, it'd be really cartoon like to actually sink your own ship. So there you have it, a ship made in SketchUp, and it should be 3D printable. Um, I'm going to test it, and I'll let you know how it works out. Make sure you save your work. Uh, make sure you put it in a folder. I'm going to call mine sh uh, Pirate Ship, because you don't ever want to lose your work. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know if there's anything you think I did wrong or things you think I could sh change. Uh, share them in the comments. And uh, have fun and keep building with SketchUp. Unicorn Zombie Apocalypse.